guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for pressing the video and coming to watch this I am going to do this look today the inspiration for this look was actually because of Yardley London this is their stay fast lipstick and it's in the color spiced raisin absolutely love this color um, it's like a metallic purple plum and I wanted to do a look around this lip color so I decided to use my palette from Urban Decay the Naked 3 which is a very rosy pinky rose mauve color toned thing with a little bit of purple which I love a lot I think it's really really nice with my brown eyes dual tone colors perfect if you want to see how I did this look Please keep on watching. I've already applied my foundation, which is LA Girls HD foundation, if I'm, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And then I've also contoured, highlighted, and bronzed, and I've also done my eyebrows. If you want to know how to do eyebrows, 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 and how the products I use, I will link a card above me so you can go to that video and. Hopefully there's some good good tips in there for you. Um, so yeah, so we are going to start. I am going to be using my Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. So I know my channel is more, well I try to steer more to the affordable uh, products in South Africa. However, Urban Decay is now in South Africa and I think Urban Decay is an amazing, amazing brand. I absolutely love them. I like honestly there's n I can only say good things I bought this overseas so I got this a while ago it is the most beautiful beautiful rose gold pinky mauve toned palettes there are so there are so many looks you can do with this palette it is absolutely insane I am going to start with priming my eyes with the Catrice prime and fine eyeshadow primer or base I don't like using the word base but it is technically going to be the base of something so I have primed my eyes and now I'm going to go in with I'm going to just use one of Switch Beauty's flat shader brushes I'm guessing and I'm going to go in to Savage I just, oh no, it's not savage. <laughs> you see, that's so used. It's strange. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just gonna tap it on. Now that I've done that, I'm going to go in with my essence brush blender brush into limit it's a very very light mauve mauve mauve, mauve color I'm just gonna go into the crease just to um, bring out my crease a bit and then I'm just gonna go a little you can see I'm gonna go a bit above onto my brow bone just so you can see that color but like I said this is the first layer and it's super light. Pigmentation is marvelous. The um, payoff, the longevity, even before I used to use, I'm just going into Nuno, which is the darker Mauve color VM. Um, so yeah, before I even used eyeshadow bases, or eyeshadow primers I would just like wipe foundation over my lids and then put this on and it's just amazing so would I suggest you buy one of these palettes yes everybody loves the original naked one which is totally understandable because I think it's a very all-rounded palette um, this one of course is if you don't like cool tones if you don't like the more rosy tones you're, you're not gonna necessarily like 
this palette per se but you have the naked you have the naked two you have this one you have the smoky palette as well and i think they range from like 400 500 rand which again is worth it trust me when i say like something is expensive and you should get it like the estee lauder double wear foundation do yourself a favor you will not regret it okay so i'm just deepening this crease a little bit Okay, then I'm gonna go into or go with my Real Techniques, um, what is this? Base Shadow Brush, and I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna kind of mix up Liar and Factory. So it's these two shiny colors. And I'm just gonna concentrate it's on the outer corner here. Now I want to kind of lift it up a bit. You see I'm kind of swiping it up. Up there. Just get that into the crease. Again, concentrate it at the outside. Make kind of like a V and flick it up. For most eyes shapes, um, depending on what kind of eye shape you have, for the most part, they're always it's always advised to make sure that your eyeshadow goes up. Like you want to open your eyes. You don't want to have the eyeliner down here or something, because um, it's just going to make your eyes look droopy and they're going to just all these all these fun things that you don't necessarily want. I'm going to be using um, a very dark lip so sometimes they're like hey if you're gonna have a dramatic lip have a toned down eye if you have like dramatic eye have a toned down lip that you can do that but hey I'm gonna go dark side um, it's this one over here it's not as glittery so I'm going to concentrate and not talk while I do this because I really don't want to mess this up but my whole point is just to deepen the outer parts here but to make it a little smoky or attempt to make it smoky. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to bring it down my eyes a bit here. So I'm not actually dipping into the product and then going underneath my eyes just because I, pre I prefer not to do that. I'm just not a huge fan of that. Okay, blend, blend, blend. To highlight my brow bone, I am going to use my Essence Pink Brush. Again, what is this called? It's an eyeshadow brush. I just like using it for my brow bone and I'm going to go into Dust. Just gonna highlight here. I don't usually um, put like light colors by my ear ducts because I find that my eyes water or I get itchy or something, and then I just like go ee and then it's gone, and I'm like, that's lame. Why do you even put that there? But some people do it and it works for them, just not necessarily me. Now going to tight line my upper lash line with Palladio's Pure Black Waterproof Pen. I'm just gonna lightly. There's just something about, you know, finishing the inner, inner tier, what is it, waterline. It just, it just finishes the look for me and also because of my, again, the lid space, uh, you can't necessarily have like a very thick eyeliner line. So this really works for me and I really like it. So you have that. Um, I'm actually not going to put any eyeliner 
or like a little wing or anything I'm just going to go in and put mascara on I'm using Maybelline's Lash Sensational like what else do I even use besides this nowadays? I know you shouldn't really do this, but I'm just going to go in again and then just darken it up here. Again, don't put eyeshadow after you put mascara on. But what is? I'm just sweeping um, factory to the crease a bit more, just to define it a bit more. I like that a lot. Okay, now pretty much what inspired this look is, and this is saying a lot because I don't like, no offense to Yardley, but I'm not a huge fan of Yardley. Just their foundations are not for me, their concealers I don't think work at all. Um, however, their lip products, yo guys, insane, insane. So I bought this last year for winter um, and I don't get to use it often. It's a beautiful like, and I also don't do metallic colors, but this metallic plum, beautiful color. <laughs> so I'm going to attempt to do this without going over the lines so don't mind if I quickly just keep quiet and concentrate I didn't even tell you what shade this is in. This is in Spiced Raisin. I love this color. It is so beautiful. I need to just darken up my contour a bit. I feel a bit, um, yeah, I can't think of the word right now. <laughs> my bad. What, what do I washed out? I need some more dimension in my face. So I'm just gonna use Hula's Benefits Hula Blonde. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to use Benefit Hula, Hula Bronzer. So this is the look using my Naked 3 palette from Urban Decay. I, again, love this palette. If you guys are have been thinking, should I get the palette? Should I get something similar? Really go to the store, speak to the people that are in the, um, the shop and they'll be able to advise you on what the best thing, what the best palette you should get. Nope. They will help you choose the best palette for you. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see any other of my videos, just find them somewhere down there. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.